welcome to the 17th of January. Happy birthday, Anna. It's Anna's birthday. I am just in. I've had quite a busy day today with Georgie because it's Friday. So I'm trying to take my jacket off. So we went to gymnastics this morning with Georgie. Hold on, see if I can balance you up there. There we go. Oh, don't fall. That's right, okay. You're balancing on the jacket. I'll just take my jacket off. There we go. There we go. Georgie's just uh, having a little snooze at the moment because she's been busy. Um, kept her going all day. I've just been for a quick blow dry. Still using my Pichette Metis and scarf. Do you know everything I have on today is so old, except for my boots. Boots are this year's. But let's have a look. Let's do a quick outfit. Jacket. This is a jacket. I can't even remember. I think it was from Morgan. I don't even think that shop even exists, but I absolutely love it. Used to get a lot of my jackets. Sure, it was Morgan. Yeah. So, so this. I, I mean, it's so old. I couldn't even tell you, but I love it. I love the detail on the sleeves, the way it opens up. So I had that on today. My bag, like I said, was my Pichette Metis. Here I have an order from Topshop. So this was the should be the skirt and the trousers that I was talking about in my last vlog. Scarf that I had on was a Marks and Spencer's one. Is Lily guarding my weights there? So jeans are a few years old. They are from Next. They are the, supposed to be the lifting and you know do everything jeans. Really comfortable jeans. So I like them. Again, another top. So this is an all-in-one. So this is kind of attached to this blouse here, and it's got a tie which kind of tie at the back and again I couldn't even tell you how many years old this is wash great so talking of clothes let's see what's in here let's see but I need to um where am I gonna put you yeah on the sweetie jar let's open this up I'll try and open it up it's easy the seal she says tearing the packaging apart that wasn't well done at all ok that's exactly what I wanted that's the correct order so these are the kind of leisure trousers with the zip and you've seen me trying them on in my last vlog but obviously I'm going to try them on again and here is the skirt which is in the exact same style as my other one. Again, I'm going to try it on, but this was full price. So this was 29 99 I just like the look of it, just looking at it. So yeah, this is something you can wear all year. So nice thick jumper during the winter with black tights, and then it's thin enough to wear in the summer as well. So I like it because it's quite fitted at the top and then it just kind of floats out at the bottom. So that's that. I'm also now that Georgie is sleeping, I'm going to check her jelly and I might just put one in the freezer for her because we made jelly today. We made little cups of jelly. Then it's there. I'm going to put some sprinkles on it and I'm going to put this particular one in the freezer just so it's ready when she wakes up. Okay, that is Georgie away home. Rico is cooking. A delicacy tonight, aren't you Rico? Absolutely honey. We are having fried eggs and chips. They actually look delicious. Oh they are delicious, don't worry about that. <laughs> and sausages, you're having yeah, sausages? Yeah, I'm going to have sausages well, I'm going to have a sausage as well then if you're having sausages. So it's egg, chips and wine. That's Friday's dinner. Hey day. Right, I'm in the process of uploading a video and um i've got uh i'm going to do a tag video at some point as well so sabrina sabrina shakofte i'm sure you follow sabrina uh approached me to do a collaboration a collaboration um 
so I suggested we do a jewellery one because she absolutely loves jewellery and I love jewellery so I'm going to make it into a tag so I'm going to film that over the weekend I don't know if I'm going to film it tonight but I'm going to film it and have it ready so when she's filmed hers we can upload it at the same time so make sure you look out for that um, so I'm going to close my blinds I don't think I'm going to be filming anything because it's about this time I like to get my jammies and I haven't even closed my rings today um and i don't think i'm going to be doing it tonight either but uh, yeah so that's basically been after oh here's the uh, hanging up there's the skirt hanging up there so yeah same style stitching doesn't look too great right enough can you see it yeah i know what they say you get what you pay for and there's the trousers you can see they look like corduroy, but feel more like velvet to me. Yeah. Right. Get my boots away. Just try and tidy everything up. And go and have my dinner. Good morning and welcome to the 18th of January. I am still playing about with the Barry M palette. I went for totally different colours again today. I'll show you again what ones I went for. Um, I'm just getting ready to film. Should we do a quick outfit? I'm tidying up actually as I'm talking to you at the moment. You know what it's like when you get ready. Outfit. This is just a jumper that belonged to my mum. Uh, probably an old Peruna uh, jumper. And here's the skirt I spoke about from a uh, top shop. Is it focusing? So um, yeah, it's basically the same style as my floral one. This unfortunately was full price. This was twenty nine ninety nine, I think. I think I've still got the labels on the on on here. Let's turn it round and see. Uh, yeah, that no, was twenty nine pounds. Um, I will cut the label out. I just I was trying it on and was putting the outfit together and I thought, yeah, actually I'm gonna keep this and like it, hence why the label is still on. Um yeah, the original price of the floral one that I had on in my I think it was in the last vlog was original price that was £35. So yeah, this is my outfit. As usual, I have nothing on my feet. But yeah, I love these skirts with boots, they look best with boots, I think. So yeah, and I love the, how we can dress them up and dress them down. So this is the skirt and yeah, I think it's going to be a keeper. So let me show you the palette. I'll open it up and get it ready. Here we are. So that's the palette. I will link it in my description box. So what did I use this morning? I went for this as a base, which is quite dark for me as a base I normally go these are the sort of colors I go for as a base so I went for this then felt it was just slightly too dark and I do like these I do like a base to have a sheen and then I can build from there so I started off with that and felt it was just slightly too dark so then I went in with this in the in the corners and then I thought, let's really go for it today. So I went with this, I blended this on the outside. And I think that's it. I think I highlighted just under my brows with the yellow. And I think that's basically the colours I used today. Yeah, I think I maybe probably brushed over just a light brushing of this if I remember correctly but these these were the main colours that I used today this is where it all kind of started and then the kind of lighter colour is this I just I like a really light colour on my inner eye because it just opens it out so that's the outcome of all those colours and again on my I better tell you what I had on my lips because I always get asked and then by the time I do the video I don't remember so it was on my lips I lined with this very light colour from Estee Lauder which is 18 let's put it down here and this is in the colour nude yep 18 nude 
and the lipstick I had on was I think this is the glowing gin yeah glowing gin from Charlotte Tilbury and and then I put some of this Estee Lauder lip gloss I really really like the lip products from um, Estee Lauder and it, this particular lip this particular lip gloss is not um, sticky it really feels really comfortable on the lips rocky candy shimmer I think this was a gift with purchase and this is the one I had in my last video because I got quite a few questions on what I had on my lips and it was basically just this lip gloss here so this is a double ended lip gloss so that's basically what I had on my or oh, what I have on my lips so yeah that's what I have on my, my hair's looking a bit flat I'll need to fish it out a bit um so that's what I have on my lips foundation is Estee Lauder Base coat is Charlotte Tilbury, which I've only just started enjoying. I don't like, I love my Estee Lauder foundation, but I feel it needs something to shine it up a bit. So um, I use the Flawless Filter, then my foundation. Under my foundation, I have SPF of something because I'm using the retinol now at night and just oh and my charlotte tilbury moisturizer i have to go in here i can never remember ah, i can never remember the names of things so i've started using the magic cream and under that i'm still using the aldi um, serum because remember i broke out and i didn't know if it was the um Charlotte Tilbury or the Clarins that I'd started because I kind of just used everything so I'm using them all individually now just to kind of um figure out which one it is I don't think it was either of them I think it was uh Charlotte Tilbury it was an oily mask that I was using from Charlotte Tilbury and I've got it in all my empties because I'm planning to do an empties video I think I'm actually going to do that today um, I think, you know, empties videos are great videos for just seeing what we like, what we don't like, what we'll purchase and what we won't repurchase. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to film that today because I have a big bin full of things. I'll just show you. Um, there's my bin that I put all my empties in. So I really need to go through all of them because I have actually been using different products. I was a terrible one for using the same products. This is this is my bin that needs emptied. That it's all the kind of new products that I have opened up this week. So a uh, charcoal toothpaste, which I now do not use on an everyday basis because it really makes my teeth quite sensitive. But I do like the effect of these charcoal of these charcoal whitening toothpastes. So um, I use it kind of maybe every couple of days and I started the Charlotte Tilbury morning ma the, the ma magic cream this week as well so that's why that empty package is there going through my dustbins as well and then again I hold this I'm on my nails as a base coat that's makeup on my nail there as a base coat I have the nail envy just because I'd run out of the um, Nail Teaks one. So we'll see how we get on with this. I'm quite happy to use this just now. And like I said before, it's um, just as expensive. And it's really good at keeping my nail varnish on. My nail varnish doesn't chip. That was the packaging. And then I just decided to throw away the... Oh, that was just the label I stuck that was on something else. That was just That's the perfume that I'm using just now that I bought at Christmas time. The... Victor and Rolf, Victor and Rolf, and that was just the packaging that I threw away. But I'd actually, I've been using that since Christmas. So there you go. That's all the new products that I've opened up just in the last couple of days. So I'm going to get that emptied as well. I've been planning this morning, planning videos and things to see what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Um, so I want to get I really need to get that empties one done just to get that bin emptied and um, yeah we're also going to film a food and wine video today we haven't yet decided what we're going to cook but we'll decide so that'll be the next food and wine video 
right i'm gonna do a quick whiz round the house and sit down and film get myself a glass of wine what time is it it's half past two not too early to be thinking about wine but it's a bit late to you know i normally i would have had everything tidied up i have got a washing on but i just want to get everything looking perfect okay quick tidy up is done nice lines and i finished tidying up just in time for Rico coming home so I can do a little haul of what he's been buying. What wine are you reviewing? Uh, I don't know yet. Okay, it doesn't matter. A choice of two. Okay, let's okay. see. Of course we have some necessities here which are yeah you thought it was that no he has the necessities. Oh right. oh we've got red in here. And what's that on that? Okay, it's kind of just thermometer. Time for thermometer. grilling. A thermometer? Yeah, it's a thermometer. What? For the wine? No, it's for, I think it's, it's for meat. All right, okay. All right. So, what's yeah. this? Tell us. A Zinfandel. Zinfandel. Okay. Californian. Californian. Yes. So, I normally associate Zinfandel with roses. Well, originates. This is the original Zinfandel. Okay, so this is a red. Yep. So this is one of the options, I'm yep. assuming. And that's the other one, not that one. No, I just bought them oh, just to uh, have. See, this is, move your hand a minute, Rico. So this is now you into these Rieslings. Yes. Okay. This is the other one. Greco de... Tufo. Tufo. Okay. Okay, do you remember that? No. We had it at the bar model in the one. All right, okay. The young waiter came up and he said it was an, an old Greek grape that had been revived in Italy. Okay. This, this is the other one. All right. Talking of which, we got vouchers uh, for our Christmas from the boys and girls, and we plan to use them at the Balmoral at the One, which is one of our favourite restaurants. So it's fine dining, and I know that fine dining video we did had great feedback, so we'll probably do it in the same way. Um, as long as I managed to get some footage in the restaurant so yeah that's one to look forward to we haven't booked it yet probably be nearer my birthday which is next month oh dear. anyway let's carry on with the uh, food haul so I'm assuming this was all from Asda Rico what? this was all from Asda no I've got the Oh, okay, so Rico, Rico's a bit like my dad. When my dad used to do the shopping, he also used to enjoy doing the food shopping, drink shopping. He used to go to different places for different things. He didn't like to go just to a supermarket. He would have his butcher at one end of London. He would have his grocer at the other end. And um, his off-license, he used to go to a special off-license you know for his whiskies and things so um yeah anyway back to our haul so rico's basically has different you go to different supermarkets for different things and he likes well, to use his specific witches yes. as well and fishmongers yeah. okay back to the haul so we have another wine here what's this one? Oh, this is another riesling obviously rico's got a new taste for german wines now after our food and wine review and in here we have some meats so we have some lamb so these are the options i'm assuming for um these are quite easy do you not just roast these well as opposed to going to the butchers and the fishmongers today i was late and i went to the fishmongers and there was very little left and i know when you go to the butchers late as well on a saturday all the good stuff's gone so you just, I just went yeah i just got what i could find so at the supermarket time, yeah, okay absolutely. So, okay, we have one red pepper here. We have some spinach in here. Some bread. I haven't been baking bread. I've been avoiding baking because it just makes me fat. There we go. Shallots. Some shallots, which are an onion. We have some fish, cod. There we go. Some more cod. Some cucumber. Some baby tomatoes. So this is a variety. Petite plum vine tomatoes. Uh, some capers. I like capers. Mm -hmm. My camera's not focusing today. There we go. Capers. 
and some flat leaf parsley there. And that's all. See, whereas if I had gone, there would have been sweets and chocolates. Yeah, enough chocolates for a banquet in this house. See, that's the difference. That's why I don't go. Right. Anyway. Your choice for dinner. My choice right. for dinner is what? Because either we do the cod today yeah. and review it with a white wine, or we do the lamb today mm -hmm. and review it with a red wine. I'll tell you what, you decide. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm going to go and film a video just now, so I'm going to get myself a glass of wine. So I've just made myself a coffee actually, so I'll finish my coffee first. <sighs> Cheers. Okay, getting ready to film, get my candle on. Do you know, I've just realised I kept thinking my um, camera wasn't focusing. Always the way, isn't it? But, oh, come on. I think I need to change my contacts. I think this contact, yeah, this is my far away contact. Um, needs changed. I'm gonna have to go and get another light. Come on! Ah, there we go. Come on, light up. Come on. These were the candles, remember? I bought the candles thinking that they light up because they look like the ones that light up, but they don't actually light up. But they've actually got a nice, I think this one's actually finished. Yeah. See, it's just. I need to go and get another candle. I've got my two um, Joe Malone ones there. One was from my friend Sabrina, who I'm doing a collaboration with just now. This is the video I'm going to do just now. Um, and who was the other one from? Who was my other Joe Malone? I think it was a gift when we closed the restaurant. I think the other. Joe Malone one. Yeah, it was the gift. Right, this is not working. Right, so.